Watch the video. Based on the video, answer the following questions. Do you know how much heat is released during this reaction? Let's find out. The burner containing ethanol is weighed on the digital electronic balance. Record its mass in the table provided. A copper can filled with 200 cubic centimeters of water is placed on the clay pipe triangle. A thermometer is then placed in the water. Record the initial temperature of the water and the mass of water in the table. The burner is placed below the copper can and then lighted to heat the water efficiently. The water is stirred until its temperature increased by about 50 degrees Celsius. Record the final temperature of the water in the table. What is the difference in temperature during the reaction? Key in your answer in the table. The burner is weighed again on the digital electronic balance. Record its mass in the table. How much ethanol has been burnt during the reaction? Key in your answer in the table. Now with the data we have, we can calculate the heat released from the combustion. How do we do this? Key in the data in the blanks and find out the heat released during the reaction. Yes, the heat released during the complete combustion of ethanol is 40.74 kilojoules. What would be the amount of energy released when one mole of ethanol is burnt completely? Let us calculate together. First, calculate the number of moles of ethanol used in the reaction. Click hint if you need some help. Key in the data in the empty box and find out the number of moles of ethanol burnt during the reaction. Forty point seven four kilojoules of heat is released when zero point zero four moles of ethanol is burnt. But how much energy would be released if one mole of ethanol is burnt completely? The energy released when one mole of a substance is burnt completely is called the heat of combustion. Thus, we can see that the heat of combustion of ethanol is negative 1018.5 kilojoules per mole. The negative sign in front of the value indicates that heat is released. We can write the thermochemical equation for the combustion of ethanol like this. What does the energy level diagram for the combustion of ethanol look like? Let's draw. The actual heat of combustion of ethanol is negative 1,276 kilojoules per mole. Would the heat of combustion of propanol be higher, lower or the same as that of ethanol? The heat of combustion of propanol is higher than the heat of combustion of ethanol. The table shows the heat of combustion of the first four members of the alcohols. The heat of combustion of alcohols increases down the series. Why is that so? Let's explore. What else increases as we go down the series? Yes, the number of carbon and hydrogen atoms increases too. Let's plot a graph of their heat of combustion against the alcohol.
Excellent! From the graph, we can see that as the number of carbon and hydrogen atoms increases, the heat of combustion increases. Why do you think this is so? Do you think that it has got to do with the breaking and forming of bonds? Let's calculate. These are the reactants and products of combustion of the four alcohols. Complete the table to find out how many CH, CC, CO, OH and OO double bonds are broken and how many OH and CO double bonds are formed during their combustion. What can you say about the number of bonds broken and formed as you go down from methanol to butane one all? Yes, the number of bonds broken and formed increases going down the series. Now, calculate the heat of combustion of the alcohols based on the data and the given bond energies. What can you conclude from this activity? The greater the number of carbon atoms and hydrogen atoms per molecule of the alcohol, the higher is the heat of combustion.